Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I am Aisha Ibrahim. Under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Humanitarian Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Board of Trustees of Nasser Vocational Training Center, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the center celebrated the graduation of the seventh batch of its students for the school year 2022 to 2023, consisting of 149 graduates of various technical and vocational education majors. His Highness delegated the Deputy Chairman of the center, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, to attend the ceremony. On the occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his continuous support to the center, which boosts the youth's capabilities in the industry and technology fields. His Highness congratulated the graduates on their success in the secondary education stage, noting the importance of preparing for the new stage of national work and their contribution to the comprehensive development process during the era of His Majesty the King and with the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. For his part, Dr. Sayyid expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister for their support to the education, hailing the leadership of His Highness Sheikh Nasser, his support to the center and his directives for its development. He also congratulated the center's students for their academic excellence, noting that they are a product of a new culture of industrial education. Under the patronage of the Attorney General Dr. Ali bin Fadl al buainin the training program organized by the Public Prosecution was launched in cooperation with the Judicial and Legal Studies Institute at the Ministry of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf and the Bahrain Institute of Banking and Finance titled Judicial Enforcement in Financial Crime Between Law Provisions and Practical Application. The program was inaugurated in the presence of the Vice President of the Supreme Judicial Council and President of the Court of Cassation, the President of National Audit Office and the Minister of Justice, Islamic Affairs and Waqf. A number of concerned authorities participated in the training program, which aims to raise readiness to professionally deal with all forms of financial crimes and support the efforts made by the Kingdom in combating this type of crime due to its repercussion on the national economy and the development process. The training program will continue for a whole year and includes a series of sessions and workshops dealing with legal and practical issues according to the latest experiences and developments, in addition to lectures given by a number of prosecutors, judges and specialized experts. The Minister of Labor and Social Development and Chairman of the Labor Market Regulatory Authority, LMRA, Board of Directors, Jamil Ahmedan, led Bahrain's delegation in the 111th session of the International Labor Conference, ILC, held in Geneva. The delegation includes government representatives, employers represented by Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, and workers represented by the General Federation of Bahrain Trade Unions and Bahrain's Free Labor Unions Federation. The conference uh, focuses on the discussion of the Director General of the International Labor Office's uh, report on advancing uh, social justice. The report uh, deals with the repercussion of various factors and crises that negatively affect labor markets, the advancement of social justice and the promotion of decent work. The minister affirmed Bahrain's keenness to participate in the ILC to showcase progress in labor market reforms, development and regulations. The Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna al rumehi participated in a special session on achieving universal access to adequate housing through inclusive and stronger multilateralism with the participation of officials and specialists from the UK, France, Canada, Mexico, the Philippines and Kenya held on the sidelines of the UNHA2. The dialogue session focused on the importance of decent housing in achieving social and economic development. The participants called for devising comprehensive long-term policies to ensure the provision of affordable social housing for the citizens. Minister Rumehi affirmed Bahrain's early awareness of the potential challenges associated with the increase in demand for housing services as a result of the high rates of population, which requires intensifying efforts to provide housing services to low-income citizens. She stressed that the Kingdom has been keen to implement housing projects alongside sufficient community services and facilities in order to provide decent housing for citizens. The Minister added that the government not only provides housing citizens but also launched partnership initiatives with the private sector to cater to their citizens' housing needs and provide them at affordable costs. 
Speaking before the second session of the UN Habitat in the Kenyan capital Nairobi, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning, Amna Rumaihi, affirmed that Bahrain has taken advanced steps towards achieving the sustainability of providing housing services to citizens through the programs developed by the ministry in partnership with the private sector. The minister noted that the government's priority to provide housing services to citizens is the main motive for developing programs and initiatives. She also reviewed the results of the new housing programs noting that the housing financing program has been able to attract over 7,000 applications to benefit from the financing within only 10 months. The minister discussed the government land development rights program which aims to build thousands of housing units by real estate development companies on state-owned lands. The minister also highlighted the kingdom's efforts to implement the 11th goal of sustainable development goals 2030 which stipulates making cities and human settlements. Noting that Bahrain's efforts during the past years have focused on building five housing cities which included all the elements of a modern city such as the provision of community commercial, health, educational and sports services as well as places of worship. On the sidelines of the session, the Minister of Housing and Urban Planning held a meeting with the Malaysian Minister of Local Government Development, Naga Korming. The two sides' ministers reviewed the efforts of the two friendly countries in providing housing services for citizens. They also discussed means of boosting bilateral cooperation and the exchange of expertise, as well as issues to be discussed in the UN Habitats meeting. The Malaysian minister commended Bahrain's efforts in providing housing services, stressing keenness on promoting in cooperation and the exchange of expertise. The Minister of Industry and Commerce, Abdullah Fakhro, visited Bahrain Bourse in the presence of the CEO of Bahrain Bourse, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and the members of the executive management, where he was briefed on the departments of Bahrain Bourse and Bahrain Clear Company and the tasks assigned to each department. The minister also met with a number of trainees of the Capital Markets Vocational Training Program, which is one of the awareness programs organized by the Bahrain Bourse with the aim of providing Bahraini graduates with practical experience in the capital market sector. The minister highlighted the trainees at the most important services provided by the Ministry of Industry and Commerce, affirming the ministry's support for all national cadres. He noted that such ambitious programs contribute to achieving the kingdom's development goals, affirming the importance of benefiting from the provided practical training opportunities and programs, which contribute to raising the skills, refining expertise, and developing national use practical and productive capabilities. For their part, the trainees of the third batch of the Capital Markets Vocational Training Program expressed thanks and appreciation to the Minister for his support and encouragement to develop services for the public and private sectors in Bahrain. The Minister of Youth Affairs, Rawan Tawfiqi, participated in a youth discussion session organized by the Ministry on the sidelines of its celebration of Gulf Youth Day. During the session, the Minister and GCC Youth discussed ideas and suggestions regarding the future of Gulf Youth Action, developing opportunities, advancing joint Gulf efforts in the youth sector and intellectual interests of the youth and their future aspirations. Tawfiqi said that the occasion is a reminder of His Majesty the King's vision, as well as that of GCC leaders to support youth and empower them so that they contribute to the development of their nations. She affirmed Bahrain's support to joint GCC efforts to support the youth sector, underlining a belief in the capabilities of Bahraini Gulf youth in shaping the future of the region. The minister stated that Bahrain is committed to ensuring that youth policies and strategies promote their intellectual, cultural, scientific and technological advancement as well as supporting their initiatives and innovations. The second deputy chairman of Bahrain Shura Council, Dr. Jihad Al Fadl, uh, sub submitted Bahrain's parliamentary delegation's membership request to the Parliamentary Assembly of the Mediterranean PAM during her participation in the 49th PAM Bureau meeting held in Rome. She affirmed Bahrain's interest in joining parliamentary alliances in line with the directives of His Majesty the King and Bahrain's parliamentary diplomacy approach that is underpinned by nationally embraced values of moderation and openness. 
the chairperson emphasized the prominent role of PAM as a leading parliamentary organization, stressing the importance of cooperation with regional and international stakeholders. Dr. El Fadel noted the efforts of PAM in identifying and addressing the most prominent global challenges facing member states, expressing the parliamentary delegation's interest in supporting those efforts. A delegation from the Shura Council participated in the opening session of the Women Political Leaders Summit 2023, organized by the European Parliament and the Belgium Federal Parliament in Belgium, under the theme Representation Matters. The summit focuses on the political and parliamentary contributions of women to peace, security and development, empowerment, gender balance and the challenges they face in practicing a practical political parliamentary work. The summit is attended by women parliamentarians, politicians, specialists and experts from around the world. The Bahraini delegation includes Dr. Fatma Al-Kohidi, Dr. Ibtisam Al-Dallal and Lina Qasim. The President of the Union of Arab Chambers and President of the Bahrain Chamber of Commerce and Industry, BCCI, Samir Nas, participated in the 26th Arab-German Business Forum, which was held in Berlin. Nas said that the volume of Bahraini exports to Germany amounted to 86.28 million dinars during 2022, while it was 49.6 million in 2021, achieving a growth of 43%, noting that most of these exports are aluminum. Nas also referred to the challenges facing the world in general and the Arab countries in particular, represented by technological transformation and artificial intelligence. He stressed the importance of maximizing Arab economic cooperation and moving to a new stage of partnership, calling for upgrading Arab-German partnerships to new levels commensurate with the overall capabilities of Arab countries. For his part, the first vice chairman of BCCI, Khalid Mohamed Najibi, stressed the importance of the Arab-German Economic Forum as it represents the best platform for meeting interested experts and decision makers from the official side and from the Arab and German business sectors. The chairman of the Sharjah Chamber of Commerce and Industry, Abdullah Lawais, said that the UAE succeeded in developing its infrastructure on a global level.